And now, your first alert five weather. I love this photo from Peter of Garden of the Gods, showcasing the beauty of our state with our rock formations, our animals, and our sky. And quite a moody picture as well. Peter is a local photographer that's really great at capturing the moody scene. And Colorado weather has certainly been moody the past week. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of monsoon storms. But what I'm looking forward to in the rest of this week is some drier air moving in from the west. You can see more of this orange color on our water vapor satellite imagery. That's on its way to southern Colorado. But in the meantime, we do still have some moisture to work with that's favoring northern Colorado, but we do have a few thunderstorms in our region. In general, most of the severe weather today has been into northeastern Colorado, Highway 76, I-70, but we do have our severe thunderstorm warning that has now been canceled for areas just south of Springfield. So in general, going forward today, we are looking at clearing conditions. Our thunderstorm chance is slowly going to diminish from west to east as we head through the night. 77 now in Colorado Springs. We've had a few stray showers here and there, but it does appear that things have cleared up pretty nicely. We've lost some of our instability because we have cooled off a bit. Now we still have that thunderstorm that's pretty strong. It's starting to exit the state here and that warning did expire. It's just taking our up, it's taking a while for our computer to update. Now in terms of our conditions for the severe thunderstorm watch, that's technically until 9 o'clock. There's still, still an area that I'm going to be watching just along the Palmer Divide through I-70 for this evening for some stronger storms. So likely out of El Paso County, we are going to see some stronger thunderstorms kind of dive south from I-70 and get awfully close to Highway 50 this evening. So between Kit Carson, Eads and Lamar, just keep your weather alerts turned on from about 7 to 10 o'clock. And then for the evening, we're going to start to clear out and become nice and mild tonight. Now the other side of things is we do have some fire danger for the southwestern corner of the state. That includes our area, southern I-25 and the San Luis Valley. So that's that dry air that's moving in that we saw on that water vapor satellite imagery. And that's going to start to take over for the rest of the week. Dry air, clear skies. Temperature wise right now, just depends on if you've had a storm. 77 in Colorado Springs, but still 90 in La Junta. Tonight will drop to the 40s and 50s. Tomorrow we are talking seasonable temperatures or slightly above seasonable. 88 in the Springs, 94 in Pueblo, mostly 70s, 80s and 90s for Southern Colorado on Tuesday. In the Pikes Peak region, 70s and 80s. There is a slight chance of showers for tomorrow that will favor areas in the plains south of Highway 50. But in general, we are on a drying trend. Now you will notice a dip in our temperatures Wednesday with a dry cold front, but we're right back to the heat for Thursday up to 88. So we're going to have a couple hot days, dry days, a nice break in the monsoon rain showers before they return Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In Pueblo, I've got you mostly to the 90s. Wednesday's going to be in the upper 80s, but uh, other than that, it's going to be a hot week and dry until the weekend. For Canyon City, mostly 90s again for you. A little cooler Wednesday with that dry cold front. We've got thunderstorms for the weekend returning. And for Woodland Park, you have some slightly better moisture to work with in this week, but the storms are generally going to be isolated overall better coverage of storms will favor this weekend.